Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to actually share with you in this video some products that I used on my recent vacation and then I'm also going to enclose some clips of the trip. Many of you know we went to Bar Harbor, Maine and we camped by the ocean so it's my happy place. This trip was a little bit more difficult because of the recent passing in July of my father and I knew that when I was coming home, I was going to be coming home and facing a memorial service where I had to write the eulogy and, and of course, deliver it. And I never in my wildest imagination ever thought that that would be something that I would have to do for my dad. And I thought maybe while I was in Bar Harbor, I would be inspired by the beauty of the area that I was in and I would be able to do put pen to paper so to speak and and uh, and talk about my dad but I, I I just couldn't I saw my dad everywhere around me I would be looking at the beautiful flowers in downtown Bar Harbor and I would burst into tears because I just imagined my father how much he would have loved them and and I visioned him tending his and the same thing with the ocean in front of my campsite so it was just it was it was a wonderful trip in many, many ways. It was different because it was extremely low key and it was a time of deep reflection for me. So if you're interested, that and the products I use for 10 days, stay tuned. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, I, try, I tried not to pack a lot of makeup and I didn't want to spend time wearing a lot of makeup. I brought two wigs, I bought a bunch of hair scrunchies, one that I have in my hair and I have another one. I love these scrunchies. You know, they've got the little, uh, they're like sort of like an invisible bobby and you can put, if you have really thick hair, they're awesome. If not, you just kind of like double it and it works just as well. And I usually put like a, a clip. So I, and then I just bought a little bit of makeup. So, so I'm going to stop by actually telling you about the, the hair bubble. I'm going to turn around so you can actually see it in my hair. And you can see that I, I kind of like, this is sort of like at the end of the day, and this is sort of an everyday look for me. I kind of twist it up. And because I have really skimpy hair, I usually have to double the, I usually have to double it around you know, to get it to stay in, or I squish it like this. I do it the long way, I pin it, and then I just put a clip. Now, the one that I got, this was actually sent to me, actually from Hairdo, and this is their pop. This is their wavy wrap. Um, this was sent to me by the Octoly Network in exchange for review. I have this in Butter Toast. I have this in Butter Toast. I bought many of these over the course of time, so I knew I would love this. But what I was really interested in on this one is that it has less volume than some of my, like this one has a whole lot of volume. You know, it had less volume, and I thought this would be perfect for a really casual, like no, I don't know, casual look. So that's what it did. You can see that the big clip takes up most of it. My hair is super short, so I have to put little combs on the side. But I absolutely love, love, love my wavies. Now, you can get these in Ulta. I don't know. You probably can get them in Sephora. I'm not too sure where else. But hairdo, I got this via the Octoly Network. You can get it on their website. These things are just amazing. And they are so easy to make a you know, your hair look good. You just twist it, clip it, and boom, you're, you're ready to go. The other thing that I was super impressed with while I was up there was Mercy Handy had sent me via the Octoly Network three products to review, and I took advantage of taking them with me. One was their um, hand sanitizer, they have a hand cream, and then they have a deodorant. I'll tell you, I wear this deodorant every day. I love, it has a very, very light fragrance. Not, not heavy, overwhelming. This is actually a very light formula. It says here it's designed, we've designed the new generation of deodorants. No alcohol, no, and I always butcher this 
a little lemon, a lemon, a lemon, a lemon, no aluminum and no paraben. So this is a really, really nice and say it's squeaky clean. I would have to agree, but it was also packed a powerful punch because I felt really good. I felt fresh. I was outside every day. We were walking in the park. We were on the ocean. We were out and about. I thought this did really well. The other thing Mercy Handy sent me was their their hand sanitizer. Um, this has some cleansing. This has like some cleansing balms or gels. Um, and it just really, really left my hands. Some hand sanitizers leave my hands feeling so super dry. This did not. I really liked it. And the next thing was this amazing little cream that they sent, Flower Power. Um, they've added small emollient pearls, they say. I like this cream. This cream ended up being super, super nice. I used it probably every day while I was away. So those three products sent to me complimentary from Mercy Handy. I thought they were, they were fantastic. Absolutely loved them. The other thing I wanted to mention was that because I really didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to go away and carry a lot of stuff with me. I had an unopened mascara. It's Superhero that I had bought probably quite a while ago. And I figured, you know what, I'm just going to take one mascara. I haven't used the It's Superhero in quite a while because I've been using the Essence and then I have a bunch of different mascaras that have been sent to me for review that I've been using. So probably haven't touched the It's Superhero probably in about four or five months, to be honest with you. I took this with me and, you know, sometimes when you don't use something and then you go back to it after a while, you remember why you loved it so much. Oh my gosh, through tears, through sun, through 90 degrees, through salt water, through waves, this mascara held up. And this is the one I, I brought with me. Used it every single day. Purchased this a number of times. And I really, really like the It Superhero. The other thing was on my lips. So I was sent two lipsticks from Becca. Um, one quite a while ago. And this is the Orchid. Orchid, Orchid, um, but this is one of their lipsticks, and I have talked about this for any, for a dark lipstick. This is about the only one that I really like. I love this lipstick. I'm going to put it on my hand so you can see it. Very natural looking, even though it's a dark for me. Recently, I received this from Becca via the Octaly Network, and this is their Plump and Smooth New Hydra Light Up Lip Balm. And it's like a pinky color, but it's a very sheer pink. And I've just been topping. I've just been topping this. And half the time I've been wearing this totally alone. So these are the two lipsticks that came with me. I did have a few others in the motorhome. I had my Rimmel number 45 and, uh, you know, those. But these are the two that I use. This one, actually every day. Sent to me complimentary from Becca via the Octoly Network in exchange for review. And I must tell you... I love it. I love it. On my face, the entire time on my face was my number seven. I didn't bring any other foundation. This was it. Boots number seven, protect and perfect, 50 SPF. I, you know, when we first arrived up in Maine, it was really, really hot and sunny. And even though I had a hat on, I tried to really protect myself. I felt super protected having this on. I would put this on in the morning. Sometimes, if I was going out again later on, I might touch up, wash up. But in general, I would put this on in the morning. It would it would stay put all day, even after I added sunblock on top of it, which I did. I would have my Australian Gold, and I would just put it right on top of it. It worked perfectly for me. This I talked about before, because this was also sent to me. This is the Billion Dollar Beauty. This is the Flash and Filter. Highlighter and concealer. I like this a lot. So you've got a little bit of a highlighter. Not very super bright. It's going to look brighter on my hands. You probably can see. But I did around my eyes or little places that I just wanted to have like uh, like on my non-existent Cupid, Cupid's bud. Oh, whatever it is. I really like this. And the other side is the concealer. I'm going to show you this. You can see the concealer. 
I hope you can see that so you can see the lipsticks and the concealer. This concealer was awesome. That This is all I brought. I didn't bring any other highlighter, any other concealer. This was just it. I used this the entire time. Held up beautifully. I thought it looked really beautiful. And that's basically what I used for makeup my entire time. Now, not counting eyeshadows. That's be another story. I did, I did bring some eyeshadow. But, you know, mostly it was really kind of low-key. And we did... We did a lot of hanging by the campground. We went and explored a couple of places. It was just beautiful. So I'm going to enclose some clips of when we arrived so you can see what our campsite is like and you can see some highlights of the 10 days we were there. I hope you enjoy. We arrived. Just going to put up our screen protectors. That's why the ladder is there, but that's our front view. This is our side view and the tide is out. So when it comes in, it goes right to the edge of our property line. So we're setting up. Of course, when you live in, you know, a camper for 10 days, it's a little bit more crowded. But, you know, there's a little back stretcher, little blankets. But this is not quite high tide. Tide's going out. Um, it comes in just a little bit more, but you can see our yard, Jay's feet, our fire pit. And over the last 17 years, this tree has come and gone a couple of times. So Jay and I are up in Bar Harbor, Maine, and I was gonna do some vlogging while we were up here, but then yesterday, we went down to um, Bar Harbor proper, the town, and walked around there, and I didn't take a darn picture at all. So today, Jay's golfing. I don't know yet what we're gonna do this afternoon. That hurricane is, coming I guess up the I-95 corridor and it is going to probably affect us here later today and into tomorrow but we are like right on the water's edge the tide is actually I believe going out and when the tide is in all these rocks are buried right up to our campsite and it is just it's our favorite spot it just really is so I don't know, you know, I've been like really trying to take care of the first few days that we're here was super, super hot. I mean, super hot and sunny. And we, we don't have a lot of shade on our campsite. So I was really struggling to make sure I didn't burn. I didn't want to get any sun damage. And I'm like, okay, you know, so I, I found myself using, you know, the same face products, the same sunblock the entire time, which was okay, you know, obviously. But I'm gonna try to put together little bits and pieces of the trip uh, into this vlog, and also little bits and pieces of, you know, what I've been doing for my skin and all that. I'm gonna turn around so you can see my motorhome behind me. The edge of the rocks right here, I don't know if you can see where the grill is, but the edge of the rocks on this side is where the tide actually, high tide, you can actually see the seaweed, I think goes right up into the rocks so it is pretty well um, when it's high tide none of these rocks are visible they're all covered it's pretty well a true waterfront site <laughs> without a doubt it's a beautiful beautiful waterfront site so anyways I don't know what else I'll be adding to this but I'll add clips as the week progresses Thanks so much for watching, guys. And this is me walking down the road in the campground, heading towards my site. You can see the water, and you can see the green motorhome. That is actually our motorhome sitting there, and that's my car. And kind of give you a perspective of what my campsite is like. And I'll tell you, every single day, it looks a little bit different. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. and. Like I say over and over again, we just come as often as we can because we love it. Ice coming in. Beautiful. So, I haven't shared much with you because we haven't done much. It's been sort of more of a wedging, wedging, vegging out type of a trip. And, um, you know, Sometimes I think you just need to do that. I think this is our either 18th or 19th year coming here. 
so we're never in a rush to go see anything now because I think we've seen it all. <laughs> we've seen it all. This is the motorhome behind me. You can see how truly waterfront we are. And as the tide comes in, it's going to fill in right where I'm standing. So it's really cool here. We love it. It's beautiful. It's our favorite place. Even when we don't do anything. And last night the hurricane came. We got the storms from it, but it wasn't bad. It was just really windy, heavy rain, and but it was nice. It wasn't bad. I was really worried that it would be, you know, bad. Western Bay. So we are at Skudik. There's Jay on the rocks, vegging, and it is beautiful. It's it's the tide is going out, so it is decidedly for sure undramatic. But oh my gosh, we've been here when the tide is coming in and the water just breaks over these rocks. It's incredible. And over here to our three o'clock is a very beautiful yacht called Kisses. It is not owned by the guys that own the Hershey's. I asked, they told me no. I think that's a huge missed opportunity personally, but it is a $25 million yacht if anyone is curious. So it told me that today and I was like, well, that's something I'll never afford. <laughs> no, it was where the rich and famous of the time would go and sit and have some drinks. Especially during this fun thing called Prohibition. Mm. Well, the very rich and famous at the time said Prohibition? Yeah, man, that's not for cats, us. Yeah, so they would go there, have a few beverages, and talk about the leopard. things at the time. Oh, yeah. They'd have their manly gossip. Isn't it the same thing, a leopard? You, know, you got John, you got the Rockefellers, the Astors. Them, very, very rich folks. And after about an hour and a half of sailing out, we made our way back towards Bar Harbor in time to watch the sun set over the western sky and oh my gosh it was so beautiful so beautiful to see that big big ball of sun just kind of sink in the horizon all the times we've gone to bar harbor we've never gone out on a boat we've never taken a sunset cruise so this was the first for us and we'll definitely do it again the boat ride was fantastic it was affordable and it was so much fun they gave us a lovely tour of Bar Harbor from the water, from Acadia from the water. It was gorgeous. But look at the sunset. Isn't that amazing? It was so, so nice. And after a while, we just continued to make our way back into port where we docked our boat. So we're heading to go get an ice cream. You scream, ice cream for ice cream so last day and we are going to be doing ice cream for lunch lobsters and steamers for dinner here is the fruits of our labor Thanks so much for joining me and please be sure if you have not already subscribed to the channel please subscribe please thumbs up the video leave me a comment below i appreciate every single one of you bye guys